The University of Oregon has reversed course and says that graduate students can stay in their homes. This comes less than a week after students protested a plan to kick them out. And KZI 9 News reporter Jay Wan Jung is live tonight at Johnson Hall to tell us why some students are calling this just a partial victory. Jay Wan. Matt Renee, less than two weeks ago, students were out here demonstrating with signs like this one that say public school corporate greed. Many of them were expressing frustration with the fact that they were asked to leave their units just one week before finals. And although today's decision that they can keep their units should be a happy one, many of them still say they're feeling unstable. This is because the U of O added a new clause in their housing contracts with students. So even though they won't have to move for now, well, that move might come later in the year. They now added a little clause in the lease that says, you know, if they need more quarantine housing or for health and safety reasons, they can kind of move everybody out of Grad Village. One of the Graduate Village buildings will be turned into a quarantine zone. As the university has said, they chose this building because they anticipate fewer cases of COVID-19. And it's also important to note that although grad and law students got to renew their contracts at Graduate Village, the nine undergraduate students who live at Graduate Village as well will still have to relocate. And students say they understand the need to designate an area for quarantining, but say that more student input should have been involved in the decision making process. Reporting live in Eugene, Jay Wan Jung, KEZI 9 News. Jay Wan, thank you very much.